Testing one, two, and two, three. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very exciting video, as we're going to be talking about the mega, 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 wow, or inspiring deal between Microsoft, who are going to buy Activision, who are they, what does it mean for the industry? Whew, a lot to talk about, but first, guys, do remember that we are doing a giveaway of the brand new HP Reverb G2 that, yes, you can win. It's the version 2 sponsored by HP, so they'll be the ones to send it, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, and everything that goes with it. And the third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus MetaQuest store, Viveport, or Steam DR store. So do make sure to go to the link in the description below because it's completely free to enter and be part of the notification squad so that you you could potentially be notified as one of the winners. And guys, do remember that it's completely up to you as to how soon we do the giveaway. So do go and check out, as I mentioned, the link for the details in the description and the pin comments below. All right, so let's just transition over to today's story because this is, oh man, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So basically, Microsoft who's trying to buy Discord very recently for millions of dollars and it didn't go through, have decided to park their money somewhere else and pay $69 billion in Activision on what they said is a metaverse bet, guys. So this is freaking, freaking crazy, just absolutely can you imagine? Yes, please. Can I have $69 billion in my bank account? Hmm. Yes, very nice, sir. Very nice, sir. Would you like some ketchup with your fries? Uh, whew, absolutely amazing. So, um, let's take a look. So, January 8th, Reuters. So, this basically was, uh, was it yesterday? Yes, it was. The deal was yesterday, guys. It's still very fresh. Um, Microsoft Corp. SFMS. FT is buying Call of Duty maker Activation Blizzard, uh, Blizzard sorry, for 68.7 billion in the biggest gaming industry deal in history as global technology giants stake the claim to a virtual future, they say. To a virtual future. The deal announced by Microsoft on Tuesday, its biggest ever and said to be the largest all cash all cash, guys, all cash acquisition on record will bolster its firepower in the booming video game market where it takes on leaders Tencent, which is a Chinese-based company, and Sony. It also represents the American multinationals bet on the metaverse, virtual online worlds where people can work, play, and socialize as many of its biggest competitors are already doing. So... Uh, what else can we tell you? Well, one of the biggest companies in the world, largely thanks to the corporate software such as its Azure cloud computing platform and Outlook franchise, is offering $95 per share at 45% premium to Activision's Friday close. Activision's shares was last up 26% and 82.10. Still a steep discount to the offer price reflecting concerns. The deal could get stuck in the regulator's crosshair. Now, apparently... Uh, there will be a potential deal deal where Microsoft, if the deal doesn't go through because the regulators in the U.S. feel that it goes against the um, the the the, the anti-competitive uh, laws, then they actually will offer Activision three million U.S. dollars if the deal falls through, uh, because basically now they have to go through a whole heap of different legal channels and legal different things to make sure that of course the deal is. Is, is okay and everything goes through. So this is basically what they're saying is, okay, we want to buy you, but now they have to go through the actual channels to make the deal actually close and make it happen. So I'll put a link in the description and the pinned comments below as well. So you can go and read this. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about first, okay, let's just go to Activision and who they actually are. So Activision were founded in 1979. Uh, companies to disrupt the world's entertainment with its extensive roster of epic blockbuster games, including, let's go down so we can see the actual games in color. Call of Duty, we're all very familiar with it. Vanguard, Call of Duty, Cold War, Call of Duty, Warzone, uh, Crash, Bandicoot, 
which is also very popular. Tony Stark, Pro Skaters, of course, a classic as well. Call of Duty Mobile, Sekiro, Spyro, which is also quite famous, and they may have done other stuff as well. But basically, these are the major games that they are known for, and all their teams are there, and all this kind of stuff. So... It is a big deal for the gaming industry because, guys, as we all know uh, now, they are using the metaverse word because they're banking on... Now, what does the metaverse really mean? Now, metaverse does not necessarily mean having a... having a VR headset, guys, or mixed reality. Now, we do know, of course, that, uh, you know, if I just transition over very quickly again and we go to YouTube. Um, now, first of all, Microsoft, you know, have released, as we know, the HoloLens, right? So the HoloLens is very much one of the most famous VR headsets that you can think of when you think about the metaverse, right? HoloLens enables mixed reality interaction and augmented reality. So you can use your, your hands to actually interact with the 3D objects, whilst at the same time, uh, you can actually see the augmented 3D objects in the real world as well. So it's very much mixed reality as what we call it. And the other thing that they've also done, of course, is Microsoft Mesh. Now, Microsoft Mesh enables you to mix gaming with mixed reality. So they could basically, there are already some games using this technology with the SDK to implement the VR or AR games within a mixed reality world where you can communicate with people, where you can play games, where you can buy NFTs, when you can do all these kind of different things within the metaverse, all right? But, but, and this is a very important but, guys, the metaverse is not just about, as I just mentioned before, wearing a VR device, whether it's a HoloLens, a Pico Neo 3 Pro, or an HP Reverb G2, or whatever other kind of device. That is not what a metaverse is about. The metaverse is about being able to connect with other people online, but more than just a Habbo Hotel, because that's what all it would be. Otherwise, the difference between Habbo Hotel and the metaverse connecting online without a VR or, 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 or immersive headset, as we say, is the fact that you can actually trade goods with people and earn money, cash, from those goods. So for example, you could upload a painting that you bought in the metaverse, it would then be called a non-tangible token, which is an NFT. This NFT is a contract which has been signed digitally on the blockchain. Sorry if it's very confusing, we'll do another video. If we reach the 20 likes on this video, we will do a specific video on NFTs and how all these kind of things work. But after that, you can either decide to upload your NFT in the metaverse on depending what platform obviously is uh, compatible with these various different technologies. FYI, sorry, there's some noise at the back, which is why I'm shouting a little bit. Sorry about that. I uh, hope it doesn't get picked up by the mic. It's a big, big lorry, literally just going around. It's a big tractor. They're doing a lot of work outside. Ugh, big nightmare. Anyway, coming back to the video. Um, so you could also purchase avatars. You could purchase a shoe for your avatars or accessories. You could purchase land. You know, all these different things in the metaverse so you can earn money is called investing, right? So eventually you could sell it back to someone else who potentially would want to buy it from you at obviously a high price and then you make some money or you could invest directly in the platform and then you could go on whatever blockchain uh, platform where you could basically sell those tokens later if of course this platform has grown in popularity and the token is worth more money. Right, so let's uh, go back to the, to the video for a second. So now there are several different metaverse uh, things that, uh, you know, that are already online. So for example, MetaStrike is very much a competitor to Call of Duty because MetaStrike is all about first player shooter where they will be able to, to give you the opportunity to purchase as I mentioned, these NFT things. So they're gonna have an NFT marketplace. Uh, you'll be able to buy all types of different things. Probably you'll be able to buy weapons, you'll be able to buy suits, you'll be able to buy cards, tradable cards, tokens, and all these kind of different things. Now, there's, there is a whole heap of different uh, projects online in the metaverse, not just first-person shooters, but this is very much one of the first first-person shooters 
as a as 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 a metaverse game, not as a VR game. Very different things. VR is just in VR. Metaverse means being able to trade, to profit, to make profit, to invest. So this is what's very interesting. We also have Axie Infinity. We also have the Sandbox, where you could buy land and all these kind of different things. Neos, which is a social VR platform. Somnium, which allows you to buy land as well, but also has a very much a social aspect to it. And of course, you could purchase an immersive VR headset to go into Somnium space, which you're not able to do, to my knowledge, at the moment in the Sandbox yet. And there's a whole bunch of other different things that basically you will be able to experience. So it just makes a lot of sense for Microsoft to purchase Activision. And by the way, have they spent all their money or are they going to be spending more money in different game companies to have a, no a monopoly? Because this is apparently going to put them as the world's third biggest games company in, uh, I mean, company to be invested in gaming in the world. I mean, that is huge that is massive so it just goes to show that microsoft are very much in the game of vr and ar and mixed reality and the metaverse and they're probably what i would say going to bring this over to xbox which is very very interesting i think those who are doing games on you know on mobile they're going to have to start shifting to AR very, very soon because AR devices are going to become very, very popular in the next few years, probably in the next three, four years, especially as Apple will be releasing the anticipated AR glasses by 2024 or 2025. We know that Meta already have one, which they'll probably build on and come up with new ones. Unreal, of course, have their own AR glasses, which have been out already for quite a while in America and some other parts of the world where they have a deal with Verizon and you can already already play some very, you know, normal games, but it's already digital display, display, you can surf the web, you can watch movies, all these kind of things. So this is going to be very, very interesting to watch out. Keep in view, as they say, but amazing deal that Microsoft has just pulled off. And hopefully it's going to bring the metaverse to another level after Meta's announcement a few months ago about putting all their money into this space. So guys, let's give a big thanks to you because I freaking love you guys. Let's go and read some of the comments that you guys have left on the channel. So let's just go to the uh, VI Essentials YouTube channel. And then let's go to the open brush video that we posted a few days ago, which is frigging amazing. You gotta go and check this out. Uh, let me just make it a little bit bigger. I like to, so let me just make it, okay, there we go. So Nathaniel Robinson says, thanks for the tip of the open brush stuff. Send the info to a friend so they can try it themselves. You're very welcome, Nathaniel, and very much thank you for your comment. Uh, Macabell says, can it be converted to an NFT? Yes, it can. It very much can be converted to an NFT because you can download the 3D model and then upload it to a digital contract and then upload it to OpenSea or to whatever, even Binance wherever you want to upload it to, to, to sell it in the NFT marketplace. So I guess very much so you could make it an NFT. And Anna Dreambrush, by the way, an amazing, amazing VR artist, sells her art as NFTs, guys, by the way. FYI, so go and check her out. Uh, okay, let's go and check out some other comments from another video this time. Uh, let's go to the VR party. Yeah, why not? Let's just go to this v VR party comments. There we go. Um, Sha Snakataka says, nice stream, mate. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your comment. Why are most VR headsets all shaky? Because they do not have yet at this moment in time any form of uh, stabilization. So when we record, basically, you know, that's what happens. Uh, let's go to how much YouTubers, VR, VR YouTubers make. That was a very interesting video. Do go and check it out. Jerry, Jeremy Dyer says, so when can we expect a review comparison between G2 V1 and G2 V2? Guys, just to let you know, let me just show you very quickly uh, that we have received the HP Reverb G2 version two. It is here, it is here, it is here, guys, this weekend. So do make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe uh, for that video. FYI, uh, let me just, uh, for some reason, it stopped. Okay, so now it's back. Um, so, so yeah. Let, 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 sorry. Let, let me just show you again because I don't think you saw it on the video. But guys, we have the HP Reverb G2 version two right here. It's right here in the box. So the unboxing 
is coming this weekend with plenty of video comparisons with the V1 and the V2, of course, guys. Uh, so, Jeremy, I hope that answers your um, your video. Um, uh, sorry, your, your comment. Oh, Cl Clive says, great video and competition. Uh, shared it. Good luck to everyone and Happy New Year to VR Essentials. Thank you so much and Happy New Year to you again. Uh, by the way, guys, so do make sure to remember to enable your bell after you subscribe and to go to the link in the description below as we're doing a huge mega giveaway where one of you lucky guys can win a HP Reverb G2 version 2. Also, a uh, brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station and everything that goes with it. Oh my God, there's so much noise I have to shout. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but it's the only time I have to do the video, unfortunately, so very sorry about that. Um, and then, of course, a third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any game that you want in the Meta Oculus Quest store, the Vive port, or the Steam VR store. Uh, so go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. It's free, guys. Um, make sure to read the TNCs. Malcolm Gray says, does this include sponsorship money? For example, the video is sponsored by... No, the, the video for this was specifically on ad money only. Uh, Saki L says, still can't understand why Nacy makes so much money. I don't think she does, guys. I, I don't think she does from ad revenue. I don't think she does from ad revenue. But I think she does from sponsorship deals, private contracts, and all the rest of it. But I think for ad revenue, as you saw in the video, go and watch the video. It's all there. And there's part two, guys. Another video where we put all the ad revenue of people who, uh, by the way, only earn revenue based on uh, uh, VR, Beat Saber YouTubers and not all the various different uh, YouTubers. So that's also very, very interesting video. So do go and check out all that. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really love you guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Hope you got something out of it. Link in the description below to the G2 competition and also, of course, the Cyber Shoes and the US, uh, 50 US dollar voucher to all the games that you want to buy. Guys, I'll see you in the comments below and also in a new video very soon. Ciao, bye, au revoir. Bye, 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 bye